So what's going on behind us here? Um, it's good that we take a lot of time in the beginning, though, to get everyone warmed up because it takes people a while to get in. Look, okay. we've tripled the people watching. Right, now. Fantastic. Uh, this is <laughs> <laughs> Booty yeah. Bears. Guys, little introduction for you. Mm -hmm. um, as you may know, different countries around the world have different shows. Of course they do. Yeah, kids However, shows and cartoons. And I was surprised when I went to Europe at how much American media was played, but in, you know, either dubbed in German or had subtitles. It was funny. Sure. In Germany, everything was dubbed, so I watched Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, like, Eins, zwei, schwarz, und all these things, or whatever yeah, they say. Yeah, exactly. Ein Junge und ein Tisch. Du hast ein kleines Schwanz, or whatever, you know? Yeah. It's, but it's like freaking Will Smith. Yeah, I know, it's weird. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. when I went to Northern Europe, um, mm -hmm. Everything was just subtitled. So that's actually why I think a lot of people in Scandinavia have such good English. Right. Anyway, long story short, it was mostly American media. Mm. But in China, they have a lot of their own domestic stuff, and it is rubbish, dude. I know. It's I'm sorry to so say. It's so bad. Mm. It, if you turn on a music video channel, they have equivalents like MTV. Yeah. But it plays like... It, it'll play foreign stuff, but it's stuff you've never heard of. There's this one song. It's like, God is a girl. That was very... I mean, are. I knew that before i went Did to you? china i'm pretty sure it's, well if you look it up it had no international <laughs> okay. success yeah. i don't think you knew it before china yeah maybe china it just, put it in yeah maybe head. there were a bunch of songs that i honestly like that take me to your heart song yeah. by michael learns to rock right it was so huge in china i was like this must be like a massive hit in the u.s or something right no one's ever heard of it <laughs> so i learned to sing it flawlessly in the karaoke yeah. there's a bunch like, of music like that yeah. i remember there's this little irish boy singing about the world peace and stuff and everyone knew that song i was like <clears> what <throat> is this Long story short, China has foreign stuff, but it's always discount crap, mm. right? Because they have to license it, obviously. Or like no, they don't they license get, it because in the KTV, it's like, with. this is not to be shown <laughs> anywhere outside yes. the territory of Taiwan the on the screen. The penalties are low for, li <laughs> not, for not licensing some garbage that nobody knows. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, they have the domestic stuff, right? Yeah. So domestic music, domestic TV shows, and kids shows in particular are a thing to actually latch on. So you'd think the kids would be prefer, like, this is why I always say, Vivi, my wife and your wife's generation, are about the same age, mm. they grew up with Japanese cartoons, yeah. American TV shows, and they were in Guangdong, which had more media exposure right. than the rest of the country because they were near Shenzhen and Hong Kong. Yeah. That, at that time, Guangdong was way different than the rest of the country. It wasn't that commie. Yeah. yeah. And they, so they would get broadcast from Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. And it was in KSA. So my wife grew up watching Sailor Moon and yeah, all those I'm cartoons. On, my wife too. Actually, Kids nowadays do not. You know, uh, on my videos, you see the introduction with the VHS player. That I actually got that VHS player from my parents-in-law house. Because, right. you know, my father-in-law used to work in Hong Kong, you right. know, back in the, the 80s and the 90s. And so he'd come back and he'd mm. bring like mm -hmm. Western technology back like my my wife had a sony walkman yeah, yeah. they had vhs they had all these cool things you Maybe know we had more stuff than i did yeah she was poor but like she had more sure. stuff because it was all smuggled in. yeah it all comes in over the border but you it's weird because china never had vhs no i think people don't understand this. yeah it's that's like, interesting they didn't have it because no. they skipped out on that whole thing they went straight to vcds because when china finally started to like acceptably open up the vhs boom was kind of over yeah and it was just so much easier to write these pirate v uh, VCDs. I remember, I remember. So you could get them everywhere. Even when we were still living yeah. there, you could buy VCDs. Dude, there was piles of them yeah. in the first dorm I lived in. Yeah. You used to be able to go to the VCD or fake DVD shops, and there would be like 9-11 coverage. And it was just like news stories of 9-11 happening. I remember, like you remember the, like, the fake movies? Yeah, the fake because movies, yeah. I remember seeing like Evil Dead 6 or something. Yeah. Like they never made number 6. And I look at it, and it's it's got mishmashes of like fast and the furious cars flipping yeah. over a big tidal wave from yeah. like that 2012 disaster right, movie like with, sh it. with random stuff and it's like evil dead six you get it and then it's like some french movie yeah yeah it's yeah it was anyway kind of we're going yeah. way off track my point yes. is that generation grew up a lot less brainwashed and they didn't have their own domestic stuff yeah right. they had a couple cartoons and stuff but it was very old school stuff so they preferred mm -hmm. the foreign stuff kids like, nowadays yeah. they do watch anime you got you could go to billy billy you see mm -hmm. all this stuff however the pop culture stuff for little kids when you turn on the TV. You get Booney Bears, you get Bears. Shin Yang Yang. She, she Yang, Yang Yang, sorry. Yeah. She Yang Yang. Um, she Yang Yang, Mei Yang Yang. Yeah, so we got <laughs> we got both. We're going to show you both of those. Yeah. So this mm. cartoon here, you can roll this clip. Right. Uh, you get a little example. This sure. is about a hunter. It's actually quite violent. Uh, this dumb hunter, basically. Yeah. And he's this Chinese dude living in a shack. Yeah. And he goes out and he tries to kill these two boonie bears. They're called boonie bears. Yeah. And these bears are, they're always getting into foibles and stuff, right? You can right. pause it here. Yeah. Now, 
like I said, we're, we'd always start with a little bit of humor here, but something happened. Yeah, unfortunately. This is not happened. funny. Yeah. Um, but it'll lead into something funny. Indeed. Explain I mean, what happened. Okay, so basically, uh, two kids, eight year old and a six year old, were playing in their six story apartment and yeah. tied some ropes together and tried to climb out the window. It was and, an eight-year-old girl. Yeah, yeah eight-year-old girl and her, and her six-year-old friend. Oh, was just, okay. Yeah, they were, being, yeah, they, they were left unsupervised. And so, you know, she tried to climb out the window with ropes tied together, which she'd apparently seen in the show. Sure. And she obviously fell and, you know, she went to the hospital but eventually died, she unfortunately. Died, yeah. So the parents, her parents, first of all, tried to sue the parents of her six-year-old friend. Yeah. <laughs> like almost like 600,000 RMB yeah. for compensation. So they try to sue her. It's ridiculous. How is it a six-year-old's parents' fault just playing with her together? You know what I mean? Younger than her. She's actually the elder. She, she should be sued. Her, they, the parents should sue themselves. You know what I mean? <laughs> what? That's, does yes, that make sense? Yeah, but anyway, yes, yes, yes. they also then sued the, the company that makes the cartoons, saying yes. it was the cartoons that um, made her do it. Right. Now, if you look on the screen... It actually has a disclaimer during this scene. Yeah. It even says it. Yep. That means like little friends. It basically means children. Right. Don't do this. It's dangerous. Dewey. So it says like, be, like take careful and pay caution. Yeah. So they're, they're pretty much in the clear for that, right? Yeah. But they still got blamed. Yeah. 10%. They ended up having to pay the cartoon. People paid 10%. I just like the way that mm. that was framed in Chinese. It was like not, not that they had to pay 10%, which they did, but it was framed in Chinese when the story was covered that... They were 10% responsible. Yeah, 10% like... <laughs> responsible for a child's death. Um, on top of that, it turns out the parents had to pay 80%. They were deemed 80% responsible because the father left the children alone hmm. uh, with his mentally disabled wife who, you know, couldn't watch them. So he had to pay 80%. The other child's parents had to pay 10%. And then the the cartoon studio had to pay 10% of this uh, 600,000 RMB. So it's yeah. just a little bit bizarre yeah um anyway I, I wanted to talk a little bit more about cartoons before we move on because this this goes into something There's else. more stuff yeah uh she young young is probably i don't know the most it's prolific it's the most it's like the popular. looney tunes of oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah i forgot that. about this so you remember that hunter yeah so you will find boonie bears like stuff everywhere everywhere but yeah. it's not licensed stuff so mm. this is an example of uh, a little kid's car yeah it's one of those you, yeah exactly so we actually found more disturbing versions of this yeah. but this is one that i remember we we filmed that in uh, the yeah, outskirts we of Shenzhen. Around. yeah um anyway she young young if you see little kids walking around with backpacks and stuff they all have she young young this is she young young in the yeah. background by the way um you may recognize it because it's so prolific. It's everywhere in China, if you've ever been to China. And my favorite part about Xi Yang Yang, they are like sheep, right? Yeah. Would you say they're sheep? Yeah, obviously, Yang. Well, no, you see, you get Mei Yang and you get Shan, Shan Yang. Yang. Yeah, there's so, some Shan Yangs there. But the English translation, the official English translation for Xi Yang Yang is Pleasant Goat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. It's Pleasant Goat. And uh, um, a friend of mine who lives in Japan, right, he went to one of these big comic um, things where all the comic people from all over the world were showing their stuff. In China, the, the Xi Yang Yang people were there and they had their merchandise and they had like these big pillows with um, Mei Yang Yang, which is like be the, the, the pretty, be one, yeah. pretty, pretty one or whatever. And it said in English, Beauty Goat. <laughs> <laughs> it's like nice. it's kind of funny anyway so uh, one of them has shit for hair yes one of them right always, yeah yeah the, this 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 one in the corner that yeah. that corner um yeah he's got like a turd for a hairstyle the whole the whole thing is that these these uh they're really guai how do you say guai like well behaved yeah, yeah. these sheep are really well behaved and yeah. they always follow the rules but these the the wolves yeah they're rebels they like step out of line basically so some really good uh parallels and the, the wolves are always trying to like well um, the, the bad Hui Tai Lang, which is yeah. the bad wolf, he's always trying to catch the sheep. Yeah. And then he always fails. And then his wife, Hong Tai Lang, which is the one in the corner up there, always hits him with a frying pan yeah. and like beats him like spousal abuse. Sure. Um, very original. Okay. But just this is leading on to what happened because <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, there was a case where they got Emmanuel, sued. Emmanuel, our, our generous friend last time, he really wants to know the eternal question is, does Yang mean sheep or goat? Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Shan Yang means like mountain, mountain goat, but goat, it means yeah. goat. Shan Yang yeah. and Mei Yang means sheep. Yeah. But by looking at them, I would say that they're sheep because they've got woolly, they're yeah, wool everywhere. They it's like, like sheep a, to me. It's sheep, right? Yeah. So why is it anyway. called pleasant goat? I don't know. Why is, <laughs> the, is... Why is that? Why is the Hong Tai, tai Lang 
throwing up an um, uh, No, she's thing. fanning the flames. Oh, I thought she was yeah. puking a rainbow or something. No, no. So, apparently, uh, another kid... This, kind again, of, is not funny. It's not funny. But, leading up to but, funny. But don't worry, no, no one died, okay? Yeah. But another kid tied his two friends to a tree and set them on fire. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's okay. After watching <laughs> Xiang Yang, watching the wolf cook, cook the lamb. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I told it's myself not, I wouldn't. Yeah, laugh. I know. I'm sorry. It's, it's it's cartoonish because it is based on a cartoon. But it's terrible when kids get hurt. But I mean, the fact they went and they went and sued Xiang Yang because what cartoon doesn't have this in it? Of by course. the way, you always see Tom and Jerry. They like whack people over the head with a mallet or something of and course. put them through a cheese grater. You can't sue like Warner Brothers or whatever. Dude, Looney this Tunes. is what I'm gonna say to, okay. to the the family or whatever. Mm. They try because they tried to get forty thousand RMB. Yeah. If that. your ten year old child yes is taking two little kids which yeah. are, and tying them to a tree and setting them on fire, you've done something wrong while parenting. I don't think yeah. she young young is it. I don't here. think it's she young young's. Fault, your kids yeah. set people on fire. I know. Imagine the amount of flies that end up in these freaking bowels of dumplings. It's gross. Yeah. Fly dumplings. <laughs> yes. uh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't do, do that. that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Taking on all don't, the bees. Why did he film himself? Doesn't he sound like a little boy? Yeah. Like a, like a four-year-old. Figured out why she was so popular in China. So actually, Because of the I... pollution in the video. You see, I never get this far. <laughs> but you do in China. It's yeah. cheesy. It's lame. Yes, there we go. This is such a vibe from that, that time. That is such a vibe. <laughs> yeah, there's really. a nice prop. He's got a guitar. He's not using it. And I can't hear a guitar. <laughs> there's no music. guitar yeah. in this. Take a breath, you fill up my life.